everyone. So after I uploaded that video last night and went to bed, I actually dreamt up a different way of explaining how to do this straight European lacing technique. So I'm going to do it again for you guys. This time it's going to be a slightly different way, but you're still going to end up with the same lacing. And this time I'm going to use two different colors of laces so that you can follow me better. By the way, I actually got this corset closed today, so this is supposed to be what the lacing looks like when the corset is completely closed on a body. So I hope that's a little bit more clear for you guys. I have the camera over my shoulder right now so you can see my point of view. I have here two lengths of paracord, three meters of red paracord and three meters of blue paracord. I just bought these in a hundred foot bundles and then cut them to size. After you cut them, you will find that your cut end will fray a little bit. Just pass them over a candle if you find that this is frustrating to work with and it should seal the ends for you. So the first thing you want to do is just tie these ends together here. So I have my knot up here. In this situation, if you're going to be using two different colors like I am, you're going to have two knots, one at the top and one at the bottom. I'm going to take my blue cord here and I'm going to thread it underneath the left side. And I'm just going to hide that knot underneath this part here. Now, still holding that blue cord, I'm going to thread it through the first grommet on the right side. So now you can see that the blue cord is going across directly here. So let's just ignore the red cord for a couple minutes and only focus on the blue cord. So after you've passed it underneath this grommet, you want to go to the third grommet. So you're skipping all the even grommets and you're going to be threading through all the odd grommets. So here's grommet three on the left side. So pass it under and then pass it through grommet three on the right side. Now pass it through grommet 5 on the left side and 5 on the right side. And then grommet 7 on the left side, pass it up and then down through grommet 7 on the right side. So you can see how the pattern is forming. You're actually spiraling. So you're going down underneath on the underside of the corset and you're going across on the overside of the corset. If you want to, when you get to the center like I am right here, you can make your polar loops, but I'm not going to do that in this situation. I'm just going to go all the way down. Grommet 9 on the left side, pass it up and then pass it down through grommet 9 on the right side up through grommet 11 on the left side and across and down through grommet 11 on the left side. And then once you get to the bottom then just pass it through the left side at the bottom. Now that we're done with the blue cord let's focus on the red cord. So underneath pass it through all the even grommets. So up through grommet 2 on the right side and then down through grommet 2 on the left side. Up through grommet 4 on the right side and then down through grommet 4 on the left side. Up through grommet 6 on the right side and then down through grommet 6 on the left side. Up through right grommet 8, down through left grommet 8 up through right grommet 10, down through left grommet 10, up through right grommet 12, down through left grommet 12, and you can see that we only have one grommet left, so bring it up through that last grommet here, grommet number 14 on the right, and then all you have to do is tie these two cords off at the bottom. So if you only focus on one cord at a time, you'll notice that the blue cord formed a spiral clockwise through all the odd numbered grommets and the red cord formed a spiral counterclockwise through all the even numbered grommets. So that's an easier way, a much more organized way of learning how to do this. 
So if you lace it in this way with the bow at the bottom instead of at the center at the waist, then you can take that bow at the bottom and just tuck it underneath your pants or your skirt, and then you can easily wear this corset underneath a shirt without any annoying bumps in the back showing. And what's really neat, if you do use two different colors of laces, you'll end up with this really cool alternating fashion with um, rungs of a ladder, basically in different colors. So let me know if this explanation is a lot clearer than in the last video, and do experiment with this because it is a lot of fun trying out different colors. So I will talk to you next time. Bye! Thank you.